Hi there, it's James Mulvaney here from The Web Video Company and I'd like to talk to you today about reducing any kind of anxiety you may have about putting together videos specifically for marketing products or services. Now when I say anxiety, I simply mean that a lot of marketers, a lot of business owners get really, really stressed out and wound up over the concept of making videos, particularly if they're going to be putting forward themselves in the video. Um, you know, so if you're going to be recording a presentation like this one, or you're going to be recording, you know, like a de product demo video or something like that, you may be a little bit nervous um, over how you'll appear on camera, what happens if you make mistakes. And really the idea of this presentation is to try and overcome some of those worries. And really all of this anxiety uh, can be resolved and it kind of just the point I'm trying to make boils down to this you can always edit so whatever video you make whether it be a screen capture whether it be um, you know presentation or a face-to-face -face demonstration of a product or a tutorial or whatever it is you're doing you can always always edit it so don't let anxiety about marketing using videos and uh, you know looking unprofessional or amateurish if that's even a word, uh, to get wound up because, you know, this can be edited and you can always edit stuff. Even I've, I've had some shocking, I've personally shot some shocking videos in the past and I've almost been able to patch them together to look almost professional just using editing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. The way internet videos are, a lot of them are kind of a bit off the cuff. So people are used to seeing videos that aren't always 100% professional. So this is really the secret. The secret behind overcoming this anxiety is remember you can always edit it and don't worry if you make mistakes. This isn't live. Editing allows you to cut out what you don't like and also tighten up the script. So if you want, you can record things time and time again or maybe record a lot more content than you actually need and then cut out what you don't like, choose the best bits. Sometimes when I'm shooting video, I'll record it two or three times and then I'll choose the best one or sometimes I'll edit, say, the first part of the first recording, the, the second part of the third recording, and then the third part of the second recording, or, you know, or whatever, something to that variation. And also have fun making the video, because safe in the knowledge that you can just go and edit all the bad bits out and chop and change it as how you like, you know, you can really have fun while making the video and just relax. And also remember, you can always insert bits as well. So if you've initially forgotten something and then you go back and you edit it later and you're like, whoa, I missed that really important point. Remember, you can always insert it. And if your, vis your, your viewers are visual learners, you can insert kind of videos that don't even match the first one, just as kind of examples of what you've been explaining. For example, let's say I'm doing a face-to-face -face, uh, video you know, in front of a, a green screen or in front of a kind of a white background or something and I miss some really important point. What I can do is I can record a quick presentation like the one you're watching now and edit it between the two clips of me talking to the camera. And you know, it will seem perfectly normal to the viewers as long as I just explain that I wanna make a really, really important point, then that's absolutely fine. Okay, so it's just as easy really, as I say, as dra dragging and dropping new clips into your storyline, nothing to worry about. Here's an example. Let's say I'm a, I'm a wood carver and I'm going to make a video teaching some wood carving methods to promote maybe a, a full length DVD um, about wood carving. And this is kind of a bit of like a taste of content. But in the background, you've got screeching truck noises from the road outside or from the highway. Maybe you've got your neighbor yelling at his dog and maybe you know, you're know you not running this really, really professionally. You're just doing this from your home workshop well, you know, these problems may crop up. So what you can do is, in this case, you can replace those noises with appropriate music. And the music can be kind of like over the top of what you're doing. This is exactly what I mean. So you're, you explain how to use the wood carving tools, and then you're going to demonstrate carving, you know, a face or something into the block of wood. You get these noises in the background. But what you can do is you can put the music in and speed up the action, and it will all look perfectly natural. So show one minute, for example, of you carving the wood at a faster pace to keep the viewers interested. Here was the alternative. You know, you could have had like the actual real time trucks running past, you're scraping the wood, you've got the screaming neighbors, you know, yelling at the dog in the background and it doesn't look really good. Whereas, you know, the edited version is gonna be much more entertaining and also will overcome those kind of problems. 
So here's a couple of tips then for information that is missing, how you can actually insert it. Okay, so let's say you forget to mention your web address at the end of the video. Well, it's really easy to go back and insert it. You know, you could just edit a bit of text over the top of what you're saying, you know, a lower third, which is where some text comes up on the bottom third of the screen with maybe a dark background so it's easy to see. But let's say you've actually even forgotten to include a really key point in the video. Now, as I said earlier, you can either go back and edit something else in that looks completely different, but as long as you say, look, I just want to draw your attention to this fact, and it sounds natural with the magic of editing, that's absolutely fine. But let's say, you know, that you can't do that. Well, you can make it look as though the new section wasn't added later as an afterthought. And here's how you do that. You've got to really learn to keep things consistent. So let's say you need to reshoot some video. Well, the big, biggest uh, point to, to make is you've got to wear the same clothes as before um, and make sure that your hair is kind of identical to the way it was in the original video. And TV companies do this all the time. Uh, people often fail to remember uh, that the lighting also needs to be identical. But let me just talk you through something. When I say TV companies do this all the time, a few years ago, I went to actually see a TV program being filmed. I was sat in the audience, and I've done this obviously several times, but the way they were doing this just really caught my attention because although I was obviously the audience member, I was expecting to watch the filming of one show from start to finish, I actually saw different segments from about three or four different shows, which would obviously make up the... Uh, the series of programs being filmed in that same evening and the main presenter actually kept going and changing the shirt he was wearing to match the shirt he was wearing throughout that show so really the contents which make up each show was being shot in various different times of the week or different nights throughout the week and obviously they were going to edit them all together he was going to be wearing the same clothes throughout each show so it would seem like to the viewer watching that the same show was obviously being filmed in one go, but really it wasn't. It was being filmed at completely different times of the week or month or however long it took them to make the complete series. So let's just talk quickly about lighting. Um, outdoor lighting, remember the time of day. You know, if you shoot the video uh, kind of in the evening at five o'clock when it's starting to get dark maybe, make sure that you do exactly the same if you're shooting a bit of extra content. And remember obviously where it was as well, the location, and also the weather as well. If you shoot video again and the weather's totally different, it's just gonna look really, really strange. Indoor lighting, make sure you pay attention to natural light in entering the room. Um, and it also obviously needs to match what was on your initial video. I guess if you make mistakes like this, yes, it may take time for the final result. And sometimes, ultimately, it's easy to reshoot. Um, obviously, never forget your notes as well. So once you've shot your video, it's really handy, and I do this all the time, just making notes about the time of day, your camera settings, especially if you've got one of those cameras where you can manually change things like the exposure, etc. Make sure that all of this stuff you log down just so when you go back to reshoot any extra content, you can make it look as near as perfect. But I guess, as I say, the ultimate edit is, you know, if you're not happy with your first video and if all else kind of fails, you can reshoot it. And reshooting is kind of sometimes easier than worrying about this whole thing of adding in extra stuff, particularly if your video is only short, only a few minutes long. It's really no hassle just to reshoot. And sometimes when you've done it the first time, your mind kind of starts thinking about things you could do differently or thinking about things uh, or how you can improve stuff, stuff you kind of said. And sometimes when we reshoot, you'll actually find that the presentation is a lot more polished and the video, the end result is a lot more easy, well, easy to edit and just more in more intelligent uh, or more entertaining kind of for the viewer to watch. So that's pretty much it about reducing any kind of anxiety you may have about editing videos, making mistakes and all that kind of good stuff. So go out there, shoot some videos, have fun and I'll speak to you again soon. Just before you go, hold in there for a second, because before you go, I want to give you my five top time tested and proven principles behind every successful video that I've ever made. In fact, I want to give you this 100% free. So head on over to www.thewebvideo.co forward slash five secrets to claim your copy right away.